How are we doing guys? My name is Misha, I am the face behind Mr. Colitis Crohn's and a lot of you may recognise me from my bag and my shorter form content where I changed my bag in under 15 seconds. However, today I'm going to slow that process down, show you each segment of me changing my bag, show you what's under this bag and just give you some tips and tricks along the way because there's so much more to it. So before I actually start the process of changing my bag, there's a couple of things I do. So firstly, I wash my hands up to my elbows. Um, the reason why I do this is because effectively I'm handling an organ outside of my body and there's always a risk of infection. Equally, I wash down all of the surfaces that I'm going to be resting any of my equipment on during the process. Once I've done this, I must make sure I have all my products in place. Now, in terms of products, everyone is completely different. What you're looking for in a good bag is one that suits your body shape, one that's comfortable for you, and ideally lasts for me, because I've got an ileostomy, three days. So I personally use Colourplast, and all my products are Colourplast, even down to the bin bags. So before I show you all of this stuff, the bin bag's quite important. The bin bag is really simply a deodorizer, so it's got a weird smell to it, but it basically contains the stool from my back. Because once I pop this in, this can just go in a normal waste bin. So I get that set up on the edge of the toilet, ready to put the products in as I go. Now, I always personally do my stood over the toilet, just in case my stoma does decide to come alive, because remember, a stoma itself is active at any time it wants to be. I can't control the process of how the stool comes out of the stoma. Now, I think an important thing to say here straight away is I've had a stoma now for over six years. So if you are someone who's watching this video and I'm making it look incredibly easy, it will be the same for you in time as well. With any medical condition, it just takes practice. So the first process is actually the removal of this bag. Stoma bags are exceptionally resilient. They're very strong and as you can see, they're very stuck to the body. There's no way that this is coming off. Some of my most commonly asked questions are, can I use the shower? I'm with my bag on, can I go in the bath? Can I go swimming? All of these things I can do because the bag does hold very, very well. So let's take this bag off. So the first thing that I do is get my adhesive spray. Now this stuff doesn't really smell of anything and all it does is help the bag come away from the skin. And it doesn't take a lot and you can see it literally just falls off. It's coming clean away from the skin. Now what I would do at this point as well is also have your tissues at the ready. So I probably should have done this before. But your tissues, these are just basic dry wipes, are really good for cleaning your stoma. They're nice and soft, they're really good material and they're designed to do this. Now the bag is pretty much coming off. I always collect my stoma immediately. The reason why I do this is because I don't know how active it's gonna be. The old bag that I'm not using anymore, you can see here, it's kind of withered away at the outer point, normally I get a leakage from the right side. Um, tendency is people have sort of different lumps and bumps on their skin that can cause a leakage. People's stomas are more in or more out, which again can cause problems and leakages. Um, it's, it's very individualized. That's why picking the right product again is so, so, so important, guys. So I just pop this straight in the bin and that can go there and I don't need to touch that again. Then I will give my stoma a good clean initially with the dry wipe. And again, there's a few processes to cleaning my stoma. So I get all the initial stool off the stoma. Okay, so that I would say is step one. And again, you'll use multiple wipes in order to achieve this. That's absolutely fine. But you just want to get it as clean as possible. As you can see, my stoma is a little bit more of an outie. And this is really dictated by one for what your insides are like, like everyone's completely different genetically, but it also comes down to how your surgeon decides to fit it. My surgeon preferred performing more of an outer spout, which personally I agree with because it has a tendency of causing less leakages, but some surgeons do it flat to the skin. I guess it's down to them. You don't really decide that unless you tell them in advance. So I've cleared the initial mess of the stoma up now. Okay, so when it first comes out, it is covered in number two. 
Okay, so that's all cleared now. It's nice and clean and um, all hygienic again. So the next stage for me is these Brava Skin Cleansing Wipes. Uh, again, these are from Colorplast and they have got certain vitamins and minerals that is really good for the skin and it just keeps my skin healthy because you've got to imagine my bag is on 24 hours a day. So it isn't uncommon for the skin around the outside to get quite dry. These help hydrate that area. Equally for me, I shave. You can see I've got quite a hairy stomach and chest. So I actually shave around the outside of my stoma um, just to keep it as healthy as possible. And again, I only probably use like one wipe here just to clean right up close around the stoma. And when you first get one of these fitted, you can imagine just touching it or going near it can be quite a daunting process, but um, it's, it's something that you get used to in time, guys, because you haven't really got choice. Just get on with it. So that's all clean now. And you can see my skin looks extremely healthy around the outside. It almost looks the same as this side, but it's because I do take great care and do this process as much as my body needs it. I can almost feel it when it needs to be done. And again, all of these products go into the bag. They can't go into the main waistline. Now, once I've done this process, I can do a couple of things here. And it is completely dependent on the skin around the outside of my stoma. Sometimes I just put my bag straight on and that's absolutely fine. However, there is other alternatives. So the two alternatives that I personally use is a powder, so an actual moisturizing powder, and also a Brava ring, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how both these products work. Okay, so the ring we go with first. Now the idea of a ring is it goes as close as it possibly can to your stoma. And these are brilliant. They stop leakages, um, they help sore skin, because a lot of people do get broken skin around the outside, and you can see they're very, very moldable. Okay, so what you wanna do is get this putty until it's about the same size or as close as it can be to your stoma. And then all you're going to do is pop this over the top, and I will show you now. So once I've got my position in my stoma, I then pop it over the top. Now you can see that is going to prevent any stool falling behind um, the skin and actually irritating the point around the stoma, which can really cause deep aggravation over a longer period of time. And I've known people to get skin infections and stuff, so it is really, really important that you do use products like this to prevent that from happening. The next product, because I'm not gonna keep this on because I don't actually require it at the moment. Now the next product I'm gonna use is a powder. Again, I use Brava One, but there is so many companies out there. So don't be shy to try samples because what you're looking for is one that is gentle on your skin, works with your body, and you get the benefits from it. So try loads of different companies. Now again, this stuff has been a lifesaver for me in the past, and it's really simple to use. You can see it's very fine powder. Um, I absolutely love the stuff. Um, you just got to try and not get it all over your clothing. But all you do is sort of sprinkle it around the outside of your stoma. And this product will essentially stick itself to the skin. I normally leave it for a couple of minutes. It will stick itself closer around the skin and it will promote that healing process um, of the broken skin around your stoma. Because I'd say that's a lot of people's most common problem is the breaking of skin because they can't get their bag quite close enough. Once I've done that process, I then quite simply again, get some of my wipes and just dab any access that's not used, preferably not getting it all over my jeans, but I just dab off any of the stuff that isn't directly stuck to the skin. Now for me personally, I would say that is the main processes of care that I go through to make sure that my stoma is clean and my skin stays fresh. However, other people may have slightly different systems and you'll learn your own system over time. I think an important thing to highlight here now for those of you that are watching this but potentially don't have a stoma, have never seen one before, or you may potentially need one in the future, is just to fully explain what this is. So. 
I'm going to start to just explain the digestive system. If I were to eat something, it would go down my throat, it would go into the base of my stomach, it would then be broken down by bile and it would fall into my small intestine. Now the small intestine's job is to take nutrients out of your food and throw it around the body. Okay, and that's what gives you your energy daily, it's what keeps your body fit, strong and healthy, that draw out of nutrients. Then you've got the large intestine, which is always the big one that loops around the wiggly worms in the middle. Okay, and that normally connects to your bum and you go for a number two. Now, the large intestine is primarily responsible for salt regulation in the body, but it's also responsible for making a solid log that you guys know. Okay, now I no longer have that large intestine anymore. I've had it removed. So for me, my digestive system goes from my stomach to my small intestine, and this is my small intestine poking out of the body. And although a stoma itself may look quite aggressive, it looks sore, yours looks the same, but it's just inside your body, you can't see it. It doesn't have no nerve endings. It kind of feels like the inside of your mouth. So put your finger on the inside of your mouth and rub your cheek and it's the same consistency so really really interesting and i can't control how active it is so although during this video it hasn't been like splurting out and really active um there's nothing stopping it from doing that it can be active whenever it wants so now i've done the whole process of changing my bag cleaning the area making sure there's no sores or discomfort i then look to put my bag back on and it's really important during this part that it's quite a quick process. So firstly, I want to get my bag at the ready. Now, I personally use the Colourplast One Piece, the Maya One Piece. It comes in packs of 30. Um, I've used this ever since I've had my stoma and it's always worked really well for me. But again, try different bags, see what works best for you. Obviously, because I'm in the UK and I've got the NHS, I don't actually have to pay for any of my products. Thankfully, but I know that if you're in the rest of the world, these kind of products can be very expensive. So now the final segment, really. I've got my new bag. I take the release point off here. And this stuff is super sticky. And once I've got that part, I push the hole through and put some air in the bag. Just because when I go to put my stoma in, I want to make sure there's an adequate amount of space and I don't want to get an early leak. So I just dab my stoma because the pressure of me prodding it and poking it, it doesn't like it and it tends to um, shrink in. I always relate it to like a snail's eye. When you touch it, um, it retracts back. Um, your intestine works the same way. So I give it a little prod and you can see it's gone quite small and in. And then I just pop my new bag on. And this process can take me anywhere from a minute to 20 minutes. It just depends how long I want to take and whether I'm in a rush or not. So I've got my stoma fully in the hole and then I use the warmth from my hands to make sure that it's properly stuck on. And I normally hold it on here for like a good 30 seconds because it responds to heat. You can see I've got a lovely seal around here. It doesn't always go smoothly the first time. Again, takes a lot of practice. And I also hold close to my stoma. So I hold around the outer point of my stoma to make sure that the seal sticks closely there to avoid an early leakage. And then once that's all stuck on, I can feel I've got a great seal there. I then just pop a little bit of air in the bag to make sure again I don't get an early leak. And I seal them on up. You can see under my bag now, my stoma looks really healthy. And if I was going to do my day-to-day -day things now, what I would do, I would firstly pop on my belt. I designed these myself. Um, it took me about two years to design the product, but I've sold thousands and thousands of these all over the world. And you can find the link in my bio if you want to purchase one, or you'll know someone who would benefit from wearing these. It is essentially a support brace. It goes over the top of your bag, and it basically plays many roles. As well as just supporting your bag and giving you more comfort, it's also hugely helped a lot of people's confidence because this can be worn in the water, it can be worn for everyday use, it can be worn for exercise. And for me, it massively helped me in the early stage come to terms with my bag, whether that be during sort of times of intimacy or whether it be going out, like if I put my clothing on now,
it has completely changed my confidence levels. So if you are someone who would like to get one of these or you'd like to get it for someone else, please do check out the link in the comments. If not, thank you for taking your time to watch this video. If you found it educational, if you think it could help someone else, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and give it a share, guys. Take care now and I'll see you soon.